Check out MMOGO if you're looking to buy cheap, reliable NBA Live mobile coins. Click the link in the description and use the code BOBBY for 5% off. What's up, ballers? We are here with our fourth and final video for today, and you guys are gonna get a little bit extra bang for your buck. We actually have two new playoff cards that are in the same lineup, so we're gonna do gameplay with both of them. We got the new Kyrie Irving. Look at him compared to Jason Williams. I'll actually drag Kyrie on top of him. Better three-pointer, 97 dribbling, which is just absolutely insane. Also better shooting. I guess Jason Williams didn't have very good shooting. And then we've got the new quarterfinals master, James Harden. Better in every stat except for three-pointer and defense. Now you guys know that I love three-pointers, but more than likely we'll end up keeping Eric Gordon anyway since that James Harden card is going to go into the final set. We're going to go ahead and hop into some gameplay with this lineup, see how these two new cards are. So I'll try to vary back and forth between the two cards. Hopefully, uh, I'm guessing Kyrie Irving's going to break somebody's ankles with 97 dribbling. It's going to be hard not to. And let's see if we can actually win the jump ball that time. There we go. So right off the bat, you know what? We'll pull up with Kyrie plus six. All right, missing the first shot. I thought that that would be good because I was pretty wide open. That's all right. We'll go inside a little bit more with him. He does have 97 dribbling. I'm not sure why I didn't try to show that off. Oh, we get the block. You sh no, I didn't press the shoot button. Oh, my goodness. That was... I most certainly did not press the shoot button. I pressed the drive button. Definitely not the shoot button. All right. Let's see if we can get a steal right here. Get that back. Not off to a great start. Oh, yes. Throw it to James. Oh, dunk on him, James, or do a layup. All right, all right. So we get the uh, assist from Kyrie and the points for James Harden. So showing him off already. Even though Kyrie has a terrible defensive rating, he already got one steal. So, oh my goodness, I forgot to turn off my notifications. What am I? All right. <laughs> I was not intending to shoot with Dennis Rodman, and it looked like a terrible shot, but it went in anyway. All right, let's see if we can get a steal right. Nope, good steal. Dang it, he's wide open. Terrible defense right there. All right, we need to do a little bit better. Where's James at? Let's see how his three-pointer is, plus six. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. All right, seven points. We still got a minute left. I bet you we can hit 17 if we play really solid over the next couple minutes. We need to get a steal, though, or a stop. Got to get something, come on. Okay, Jimmy, why are you just kind of like sitting there not doing anything? Very good defense by James Harden, which is unusual. Let's see who gets it first. James, we're going to go to the basket with James. Oh, look at that spin move. A little Euro step. The typical James Harden Euro step and makes the kind of contested layup. I'm not sure why he felt the need to fall down after that one. Probably because that's what James Harden does. Oh, and he gets a steal. Very unlike James Harden right now. Oh, my goodness. We got absolutely swatted on that one. Who was that? I have no idea who that was, number 13. Let's see, we'll try another jumper from Kyrie, a little mid-range. There we go, knocking down the shot. All right, these, both of these cards are looking really solid on the offensive end, and uh, a little bit surprising in the fact that they're getting steals right now. Now, obviously, oh my goodness, Jimmy Butler is dunking all over us right now, and I'm not really sure why. All right, Kyrie, you got to give us one three. There we go. All right, we're looking really good now. If we can get one more steal, we'll probably get up to 17. Let's see if Kyrie's steal come in handy again. Oh, come on. Take the ball from him, James. Take it. Oh, yes. Ah, that's got to be a miss. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe that's Paul George. Yeah, I bet that's Paul George. Probably the 92 Paul George from the playoffs depending on which lineup I was going up against. I imagine that's probably who it was. All right, so we did pretty good in that first quarter. 14 points between the two of them. Let's see, next we'll go up against a uh, 92 shooting lineup. Should be relatively easy, and we're going against award winner Steph Curry, who typically does not have good ball handling. So it should be pretty easy to get steals and the automatic annoying spin move. Plus 10, knock that down, James. All right, maybe not. Kick it to Kyrie, a little mid-range from Kyrie. All right, so we're knocking it down. Even though we missed that initial shot, still looking pretty good. Let's see if we can get a steal here. That award winner Curry typically is easy to steal from. All right, DeMar DeRozan with the fadeaway on us. Let's see, we'll kick it over. Oh, almost got it stolen. Spin move, spin move again. 
or mid range. All right, I'll take that, whatever we gotta do. It looks like they both have a really solid mid range as well, so I'm guessing this is gonna be, I'm finding out more and more that for most cards, if you want to be able to make threes consistently, you're gonna have to hit shots inside first. So that's probably what I'm gonna be doing with these guys. Oh, look at that spin move, so quick. Oh my goodness, how did he miss that? Oh my gosh, James Harden would never miss that in real life. All right, enough with this nonsense. Oh, we get the steal right there, all right. I guess I don't get to complain about <laughs> stuff being realis realistic because I'm getting steals with James Harden and Kyrie Irving, who are not particularly known for their defense. Although that is why they get nicer cards with better offensive stats. Got to balance them out. Come on, there we go, another steal, goodness gracious. Oh no, that's not who I want to pass it to. All right, James Harden. Oh, why does he keep missing layups? Goodness gracious, those are like, that's James Harden's bread and butter right there. You gotta knock those down, let's see. Oh wow, that was like the easiest block ever. Kyrie with the easy dunk. Oh my god, we've had so many fast break points. I'm pretty sure every single point that we've scored has been on a fast break. As a result of either, either a steal or a block, let's see if we can get one more right here. Oh, where's Curry going? Oh, I thought that was a steal right there. And what? So much ball movement right now. This is really unusual for an AI. All right, let's see. You know what? We're just going to throw it to James. And, well, I thought he was going to keep running. Oh, look at that dribble move. That was so nice. And a Euro step to the basket. That was beautiful. That was actually, that was like a legitimate James Harden move. I don't know if they intentionally did that or if it was just a coincidence that they added that move to the game and James Harden was doing it, but... Looking pretty good, 10 points in that quarter, and we didn't shoot a single three-pointer, so pretty impressed so far. We'll probably give them one more quarter of gameplay. This one, we're just going to see how many points we can get, so even if we're on a fast break, we're probably still going to throw up some threes just for you people, just like a heads up for you people that get annoyed whenever I shoot threes the entire game. So I'm going to actually pay attention this time so we can win the jump ball. And we are off to the races. So we'll throw it to James. All right, right off the bat with the three. Oh my goodness, for some, it doesn't even give like a reason why, it just says missed. Like, James Harden, wide open, should be able to make it. If you're not gonna give me like some reason why I'm missing it. Oh my goodness, Magic Johnson hitting the deep mid-range on us. All right, maybe, maybe we need to go in a little. No, what? No, we don't. Oh, uh, where's Kyrie? Kyrie, why are you inside the three-point line? A little plus 10. All right, there we go. Finally getting off to a good start. Let's see if we can get a steal right here. Although this Isaiah Thomas card is definitely tough to steal from, especially in my past experiences trying to play against him. He has one of the best handles in the game. Let's see. Either. Oh, my goodness. How does neither Kyrie or Harden catch the ball? Oh, that was, yeah, that was a stupid shot. Very, very heavily contested. Harden's definitely not gonna make shots if you don't go inside with him first, and apparently I cannot get rebounds. This is ridiculous. All right, we're just gonna give it to Kyrie and let him do work. Plus six, heavily contested. It looks like he's the go-to guy for our three-pointers right now. Looks a lot more consistent than James Harden. Uh, I don't know if, oh, James Harden with the steal right there. Kyrie with another open three. Let's go. All right, he's three for three this quarter. Let's see if we can get, I bet you we can get three more with him. We're going to get 18 points with Kyrie this quarter. Oh, give me that steal. Let's go. We're getting so many steals right now. I don't want to do a spin move. Oh, my goodness. Oh, come on, Kyrie. Knock it down. Woo, this man is four for four. Come on, give me two more. Oh, give me a steal right here and two more threes. Give me that 18 points. Oh, I thought I had that. Oh my goodness, LeBron James wide open, but they miss it. Oh, Kyrie out on the break. Please don't spin move. Dang it, accidental fadeaway. Oh my gosh, he knocked it down anyway. He's putting in work right now. Goodness gracious, this guy is like the freaking isolation master. Let's see, give me a steal. All right, you know what? I'll give up one more bucket so Kyrie can get to 17 points. Would have been 18 if he didn't do that accidental fadeaway. That is assuming I knocked down this one. Oh my goodness, this card is amazing. I honestly might keep this card in place of Jason Williams because he does not miss 17 points in a quarter by himself. 
Uh, I'm definitely preferring this card to the James Harden card right now. Now it might be different from quarter to quarter, but looking really good. So that's probably going to be about it for this episode. Let me know if you guys are getting one of these cards or what you think of them. Uh, that's probably going to be our last video for today. And if you have any other players that you want to see in other videos, I will try to get those out to you guys tomorrow. But that's going to be about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys next time.